This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. Agut Amayid. Welcome. We're now learning Simen Chav Beis. And basically it's very exciting because we're, bas- we're uh, going to be finishing Hilchais Tzitzis um, uh, uh, practically next week, probably Monday the following week. So uh, we'll be beginning Hilchas Tfilin, which is very exciting. So we're doing now Simen Chav Beis Ubay Sefechad. Kana Talas. If you bought a Talas, also by Tzitzis and you made you put tzitzis in it. Mavarach shachianu. You make a shachianu. Do'ay gara mikelem chadashim. It's no less than new garments, a new suit. So here the mechaber is saying you make the shachianu when you put in the tzitzis. Hagav im loy berch b'shas asiya, mavarach b'shas ita frishan. If you didn't make the bracha when you made it, you make it at the time that of the first wrapping. Says the Mishnah Baruch Kanatalis, Ain la Hakshais, don't ask, so Al Kim Chadashim Sach Lavarech Bishas Kinyan. Normally, you make a Shachian when you buy it. Velama Kasa Vasa by Tzitzis, why here when you put Tzitzis in it? The Yeshlam Radavka Kishakana Begitshu Rai Lubash Kamashu. You know why? When you, real, when you make Shachianu in principle and you buy it, that's when the garments is ready to wear as is. Ozma Varech Miyad. If you bought a garment to make clothing with it, if you bought material to make clothing, then you don't make the bracha even after you completed it, only when you wear it. When you buy a garment, you make the bracha when you buy it. But when you buy material to make a garment, then you don't make a until you wear it. So why here do you make the shachian when you put in the tzitzis? To be in sham yuchedas. By a garment you need a specific time. Oy kinyin, either buying, oy levisha, or wearing. But here, you can't, when you buy it, halo in a royal love shatekaf. You can't wear it right away. Therefore you don't make the bracha at the time of the kinyin. So why do you make the bracha when you put in the tzitzis? Ah, ukedei lotzei skam kein das hasoivim the tzarch levarch shachiyano al asiyas hamitzvah pamarishayna in order to fulfill the shita that we don't hold like that you make a shachiyano on doing a mitzvah the first time al kein yevarch b'shas asiyas hatzitzis. Therefore, you make it at the time that you make the tzitzis v'lo yamten ad halavisha and you don't wait until you wear it. Now this is only the Rav Moshe writes in the Tshuva. Now Archaim Chel Gimel Sumpei. This is not talking about a talis katan, because most people do not consider a talis katan a beged chashav. This is talking about a talis uh, a, a regular talis. Now it's not so clear. Normally, when you buy clothing, the beikur the shachianu is when you buy it, or when you wear it. But if you buy material to make a garment, then you don't make the shachiyana when you buy the material. In this case, when you buy the talis, you can't make a shachiyana because it's not ready to wear. So why don't you wait until the levisha? So it sounds like, in order to be yoitze, those who hold that you need to make a shachiyana on asiyas hamitzvah b'pam rishana, manufacturing it. There is a shita that you make a bracha on the, on the manufacture of a new item of a mitzvah. So it seems like the, the bracha is on the first time you manufacture the item of a mitzvah. Says the Meshavur of Katam Beis Deloi Gara, Aval ein mevarech shachian o ala mitzvah. You don't make the shachian on the mitzvah, kim ad ein abab mitzvah lazman, because it doesn't come from time to time. But you make it on the fact that it's a new item. Lefiza, according to this, im also tzitzis beveged shahayolai mikvar. If you made tzitzis on a garment you already had, avshal ahayabay tzitzis me oilam, even though it never had tzitzis on it, you ain't sarch levar shachianu because you're making the shachianu not because of the mitzvah. You're primarily making the shachianu because it's a beged chadash. So if it's not a beged chadash, you don't make a shachianu. Vo adinim asat filin la'atzmai. 
you make tefillin, Eino Mevarach Shachianu. There's a shita, you make a Shachianu when you make a new item of a mitzvah, but that, that shita alone would not warrant a bracha. What warrants a bracha is Beged Chadash. Tefillin is not Beged Chadash. Talis Gadol is Beged Chadash. Beshas Ituf, Betchila, Berchas Lasate, first you make Lasate, Vacher Kach Shachianu. Now, regarding Shachianu on a new fruit, the Mishnah Baruch says you should make a Shachianu before you make the bracha on the fruit because of a hefsek. But by Talis, you first make Les Atef because it's Tader, then you make a Shachianu. And so, so in other words, the question is, why by a fruit is it considered a hefsek, and by talis it's not? So the Rosh Zaman says that first you make a lehis atef, because it's tader, then you make a shachianu, because it's not coming only on your specific hana. By a fruit, where the shachianu is on seeing it, and everyone could see it, Therefore, it's more considered that it's more important than the bracha on the fruit. Rav Chaim Kinevsky says it could be what the Mishnah means is your mesatev, and after your mesatev and the bracha of the of the mitzvahs chal on the itov, then and only then you make a shachianu. Okay, Rabbi, so we're going to hold it over here, wishing everyone a good a good Shabbos, and we'll see everyone Beis Hashem Wednesday morning. Regular time, 9 a.m., back to the regular schedule. Okay, everyone? Thank you very much. Kol Tov. Agatamayed. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.